Hi guys, uh, my name is Frankie Martin and I will be doing a an um, Adobe Illustrator tutorial on creating a symbol that looks like this here. Let me zoom in for you. Um, someone I think called it a sea urchin or um, I called it an orb, a prickly orb. So uh, basically I was playing around in uh, Adobe Illustrator and uh, I got this effect so I thought I would make a quick tutorial on how I did that so let me flip over here to this one here I just made this a few minutes ago and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and we're gonna do it again okay so what you wanna do is come over here to the shape tool and make a circle and it doesn't matter what the color is you can you can make it any color you want um, after you've done that come over to the eraser tool and in the center create or poke out several holes and you can change the size varying sizes and what I like to do is keep them towards the center, not going out too far towards the edges. And you'll see why towards the end here. And if you notice, as I'm making these, some of these have a lot of points, and some of them only have four points on them. Some of them only have two. That's good. You want that. And again, you'll see why when I'm done. Okay, once you've created these holes here in the center, around the circumference of the circle, you can make half circles by poking out just like that little little holes here and again you can increase the size and by doing this this is what's actually going to give you your sharp edges those sharp pointy edges and you can do as many or as little as you want play around with that um, Okay, once you've done that, go up here to the uh, drop down menu in the effects and go to distort and transform and then go to pucker and bloat. As you can see, I already had this on preview and set to negative uh, 59, but you can you know, make it to whatever size. If you go the other way, you get the rounded edges and it's not quite the same. but go ahead and uh, just move the slider around and if you look the reason why I like to keep these circles um, or what used to be circles closer to the center is because uh, if you if you do it too close to the um, path or the stroke of the circle these start to interfere with your your pointy um, spears so uh, that's why I like to keep them in the center so, and, and if you also look, uh, remember I said that some of these circles had two points, some had four, some had six or seven. You get different shapes in the center, and um, I don't know, I, I just find it uh, interesting. So, anyhow, again, you can do, do it however you like. You can put two circles, one circle, you don't even have to put any in the middle. Um, but once you're done, uh, just selecting how you, you like it, uh, hit OK. And then, the last thing that I like to do, and I did on this one, if you'll notice here, it, on both of these, it kind of looks like someone used a magic marker. So, to do that, if you come over here to the stroke options here, um, this third one over is a little vertical line. Uh, it's a little, it looks like a point, but it's actually a little vertical line and it sketches it on and it makes it look like that magic marker look but um, if you notice it's still kinda thick and big there um, not not quite as refined so what you can do is come over to the point size on the stroke and give it a 0.5 value and now you can see a little bit more definition on these And you can always go back to the pucker tool and um, change it up however you like and uh, once you've got this then you can go and change the color 
to whatever you would like. If you would like a gradient, um, like I had it on, uh, you know, you can play around with it to have multiple gradients. And uh, finally, once you have have it the way you like it, you can open your symbols. Um, you can open your symbols uh, palette there, and you can drag this in and create a symbol from this object. And then, uh, actually, let's let's try it out and see if it works here. Um, let's turn that into a graphic. Enable guides for nine slice scaling. If you guys don't know what that is, um, feel free to look on uh, under uh, Illustrator tutorials on YouTube. Type in nine slice scaling, and I'm sure you'll find a whole lot of tutorials on that. But anyway, that's not important now. Just uh, drag it into the symbols. Um, name it. Um, let's name it orb slash C no just orb just orb for now just for this tutorial okay um, and hit okay and what you have here if you look inside your symbols palette you have the symbol of, of this essentially um, just so you can see you drag it over and boom there it is you can resize it you can uh, you can unlink it if you'd like and, and continue to modify it. And, but uh, now you have a symbol that looks like a strange looking sea urchin and uh, you can do whatever you want with it. So uh, that's my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.